Today I'm going to be changing the serpentine belt on a 2013 Honda CRV. I've picked up the belt from Napa. The Napa part number is 070663. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This isn't the easiest serpentine belt ever, but it's not a too too tough of a job. So if you're you're thinking about taking it to a shop and paying them, you know, I don't know, upwards of 80 bucks for labor, this is probably the video for you because I'm going to show you how you can relatively easily do this uh, in your driveway or your garage. So it is fairly obvious that I'm going to be using a lift here. So I am cheating a little bit. That, of course, makes the job even easier. But you can do this with a basic jack, uh, floor jack, and some jack stands as well. So uh, we're going to get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach down in here and I'm going to pull the coolant reservoir up out of the way. You can literally just slide this up. I'm going to just kind of set it in there, leaned up against the uh, the intake manifold. And now we've got good access to the, um, the serpentine belt tensioner right down here. So that's a 14 millimeter. I've got... Um, a 14 millimeter socket on the end of my serpentine belt tool and you could use a uh, box wrench you probably won't be able to fit a standard ratchet in here so uh so yeah so i'm gonna take the tension off of that and then i'm gonna pop the belt off of the upper idler pulley so that we've got it loose from the system so now that i've got it popped off that pulley i can release the tension pull this out of there and now we're free to get the belt off of all the pulleys. So now I'm gonna lift this thing up and we're gonna go underneath. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take the wheel off. So we've got a couple different fasteners in here. It looks like something probably broke at some point. So we're gonna pop. That doesn't look like probably the original one. That looks like the original style. And now we should be able to swing this down out of the way enough. This kind of wraps around and goes all over the place. So we're going to do our best not to fully remove it. But that now gets us access. As you can see, you can see the serpentine belt is already kind of falling off in there. So we're going to get in there and we're going to fish it out and we're going to feed the new one through there. So this is probably not going to be possible to get the camera in here, my arm in here, the flap out of here, while still being able to see. Uh, so I'm probably going to be doing a bit of this off camera but um, you want to of course make note of, of how this feeds through when you take it out and let's see and i can't get my head in there to, to see well while, while filming here but um looks like we're getting close still got it up on something okay so there we go so we got the old one out so now we're going to feed the new one in and wrap it around just like it was wrapped to begin with. So now I've got it wrapped around the uh, crankshaft pulley, the AC compressor, and the water pump. So you can see how that's routed. So now I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna finish the routing up on the top side. So up here, I've got it around the bottom of the tensioner and uh, underneath the bottom of the alternator and then it's just gonna come up and go across the idler on the top, but we need to get the socket on here to take the tension off the tensioner before we can loop it around that last idler. So that's what I'm gonna do here. All right, so I've got it reinstalled. It is a tight fit. You are probably gonna have to fight with it a little bit. What I wound up doing is I routed it over the idler and then I actually, so I had it not on, I kinda had it, I, I stuck the socket in here and had the belt around the outside of the socket and then I took the tension off the tensioner and I was able to slide it over because this pulley is smooth. It's a little easier to slide a tight belt over versus the ribbed one with the lip on the edge. You need a little bit more slack. So that was the way I did it. That was the last pulley I did. Took the tension off it, slipped the belt over and now we're good. So now I'm just gonna go back down below here and we're gonna put the cover back up, get the fasteners in and then we're gonna put the wheel on. We're gonna drop it down, we're gonna start it up Make sure everything looks good. So we got it running here. Everything is looking good. So the last thing that I need to do then, and it probably wouldn't be bad to do this with it not running, but it's fine to do it running as well. We're gonna drop this coolant reservoir back in. 
now we're good to go. So we can close the hood on this thing and send it out the door.